Hi y'all, I'm Clint Long talking to you from Nashville, Tennessee. I've been in real estate for over 35 years. I'll be talking to you about getting the appraisal you deserve. Low appraisals are happening all over the United States on an arbitrary basis and the credit goes to Andrew Cuomo, Attorney General for the state of New York. His home valuation code of conduct was supposedly aimed at providing a firewall between mortgage production people and the appraiser. There's a lot of confusion there. Real estate uh, agents can communicate with the appraiser and this is the key to a fair appraisal. Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac agreed to follow regulations set by Andrew Cuomo or Cuomo would investigate them. I believe they signed with a sigh of relief. This was a shallow fix for a government-sponsored entity who was bailed out by the government with a tab estimated at $200 billion and climbing. You would have expected the Attorney General for the United States to do a real investigation, not Cuomo's threatened one. Andrew Cuomo was Secretary of Housing and Urban Development, 1997 to 2001, and Assistant Secretary for Community Development from 1992 to 97. To start with, the AMCs charge a higher fee and pay the appraiser 40 to 60 percent of that fee. The appraiser often has to travel a great distance, does his research before he comes, chooses the comparables that won't cause underwriter problems, and resents it because he's barely breaking even. Real estate agents complain about geographic competence, and I contend the problem is often economic competence. A lot of appraisers hired by AMCs are not just going to do the extra work and verify the information they need to verify with comps when the fees are so low. When you first get a contract on your house and the buyer's approved, the dreams start getting closer. The real question is, what can I do with the equity of my house? It's time to start thinking about uh, waiting for your children, a horse farm, paying off debt, vacation, college, retirement, children's sports. Thoughts of travel even come about. Thoughts uh, go back to your granddaddy's old travel trailer and his uh, uh, restrooms, ma and pa. Most agents wait until the appraisal comes back low. Then they try to lobby to get the appraisal raised. It's harder to get the appraiser to change the appraisal at this time. He's more likely to go into a defense mode. What can I do as a listing agent with preemptive action? Knowing every step of the appraisal process. As soon as I know the appraiser's name, I check the state roster to see where the appraiser is from when he was licensed, and see if his website can be found on Google. Now I know more about the timing and how it can be of assistance. I can provide the appraiser information in advance. We do this with setting up the listing file when a property is listed. We include MLS sheet, pictures, tax sheets, Google Earth pictures, subject information, exterior and interior, agency disclosure, square foot sketch, renovation spreadsheet, cost of accessory buildings, house inspection report, old appraisal, comp choices, sales dates, basement facts, information about the garage, driveway porch, drive by, most everything they would need to start the appraisal. Remember, the appraiser usually does his research before leaving the office. Let's look at paper port a little bit closer. A system of research, storage, retrieval, and analysis of information about the listing 
is aided by the use of dual monitors on a single computer and using software called Paperport. What we have here, we have the address of the property and we put all of the information in one particular file and if it, this information is ready to immediately drag and drop in an Outlook uh, email to send to the appraiser as soon as we know who it is. We take the information from this side, drag it straight over to Outlook, drop it into an email, and send it. We analyze the neighborhoods by doing multiple searches, mapping the sales, doing process elimination, additional searches, map again, until we narrow it down to some of the best comparables. This is copies of the multiple listing sheet, tax sheet, subject pictures, count pictures, research, research totally saved, and we have some of the other items that we have saved, school maps, topo maps, zoning maps, plat maps, demographic information, MLS, anything the appraiser is going to need. After the appraisal comes back, we want to do an analysis and review. The first page is mostly the subject information, and the second page has the sales adjustment grid, where the comps are compared to the subject. If the appraisal has been rushed by the AMC, we want to find out if the information is correct on the first page and are the adjustments appropriate on the second page. We'll check the year built, if it's a basement, square footage, basement finished, exterior wall material, window type, old or new, replacement windows. Uh, we're going to check to see if the uh, uh, appraiser overlooked something. The floors in quality, the hardwood tile, extra description, total square footage. Timing is critical. We're going to uh, look at the choices of comps, the information accuracy, uh, more or less do a desk review, and then we're going to drive each and every comparable. And we're going to verify all of the information over here on the right, the MLS information, tax, Google Earth, uh, past listings, check all facts, comps not used, listing renovation, home inspection. We're going to compare the uh, everything in the appraisal. We want to make sure that you're getting the fairest appraisal possible on your property.